10 types of RTS players. Number 10, the Ancients. Where is it? You don't see anything here? No. The Ancients are almost like mystical creatures. They only surface occasionally, and running into these types of players is extremely rare. They take very long breaks between playing, but almost always return. Their rank has most definitely either decreased or completely disappeared due to their long inactivity. These players are often considered especially good at the game because a lot of them belong to some of the first original players of their chosen RTS game and have heaps of experience. After de-rusting, the Ancients will pick up the most underplayed and weakest civilizations and briefly dominate the game with them. You'll sometimes encounter one of these players playing with smurf names like these, but when you do run into one of the Ancients, they will showcase rare RTS skill and knowledge that you typically only see from OG players. Number 9, The Economist. From beautiful kingdoms spreading across every inch of the map to riches and wealth unimaginable to others, experts when it comes to their economy, The Economist belongs to the best eco players in RTS gaming. They're in their own world most of the time, and prefer to stay on their side of the border for most of the game. It's very hard for The Economist to play a game without going for multiple town centers or greedy eco bonuses. They like to focus on growing their economy either through good decisions, trades, or booming playstyle. The economists are ultimate money savers and know how to boom hard. They often do a little bit of fighting, take good trades, then have enough time to focus on their eco shortly after. Many economists are also very artistic when it comes to base building. These types of players will usually pick a very well-rounded and strong civilization. The economists typically spend so much time and energy focusing on their economy that they aren't always best prepared for enemy attacks. They end up having incredible amounts of resources, but not enough military or military production buildings to spend all of the resources and time to defend their territory. Number 8, The Bullies Whether it's the player that only knows warfare, plays the same civilization and rushes you every single game, or that person still using the same mildly OP strategy for years and years, these players are the bullies and derive massive satisfaction from dominating you with their by the book playstyle. They are scary aggressive and will often try to overwhelm you with insane timing pushes. One of their traits is that they're very precise players and have completely mastered their one playstyle and strategy. They're like the Derek Brunson or Ronda Rousey of RTS Gaming. The bullies like aggressive civilizations or civilizations with an overpowered strategy, but they will only play one civilization in 90% of their games. Every aspiring high level RTS player has to get through one of the bullies and it's overwhelmingly humiliating for players to know the bullies playstyle and still lose. The bullies hate it when their strategies get disrupted, either through raids or great counter tactics and tend to get stunned easily. It's also a common conception among players that the bullies cannot adapt and prefer to quit rather than switch up their strategy. Number 7, The Broken Players These players often show promising potential, but there always seems to be something holding them back. They either quit too early, win fights and start playing way too passively, or simply just hard throw games. They have developed regressive in-game habits and tend to be much on the overthinking side. Broken players are somewhat counter-strategic or counter-attacking players and will even over-adapt to counter their enemy's playstyle. Their fractured playstyle has partially also made them quite unpredictable. The broken players like civilizations with strong unique capabilities and appealing visual design. They're above average when it comes to their overall versatility and gameplay, but are master self-sabotages and in the end, their worst enemies. It's common for these types of players to beat a good player in one game, but then lose to a much lower level player in the next game. These players will often hope to be the future of higher level competitive RTS gameplay, but they can never quite make the jump. Before we continue with the video, I just want to let you guys know, I've updated my Patreon and I've posted a lot of content on my Patreon. I'll be posting military green screens for intros, videos, and so on and so forth to teaching you guys how to use the scenario editor in Age of Empires. And I also uploaded another episode of my podcast. It's never been a better time to subscribe to my Patreon because there's so much useful content there for you guys to watch. So don't miss out. Number six, the talented RTS players. No matter what game mode or whichever game, the talented RTS player's brain is like a large net cast wide into the pool of RTS gameplay. They're talented and by nature geniuses at real-time strategy games. You often see these players performing the most creative strategies in the game. The talented RTS players can have an awkward and very unpredictable playstyle. They have S plus tier micro, extreme adaptability and some of the highest level game knowledge in whatever game they play. 
They usually play a game to its fullest and like daily challenges, unlocking achievements and so on. They either have the game 100% unlocked or 0% unlocked depending on whether it holds their attention. Despite their skill, these players don't always go pro. They love creative, diverse strategies and things that can keep their very active brains entertained. These types of players are risk takers and look for fun. Strong and traditional gameplay which works in a professional gaming environment quickly bores them. The talented RTS players love inventing and introducing new strategies to the game and are for some reason particularly fond of making bad or very hard strategies work which more often than not results in them actually losing games. Talented RTS players are very versatile and prefer very demanding and difficult civilizations and they have no problem going random civ. Number 5. The Librarians The Librarians are gentle and kind players. They love solar campaign, AI games, scenarios, historical battles, mods, custom maps, but they mostly play team games or team versus AI. They will literally play any game mode apart from 1v1 competitive and belong to some of the most knowledgeable players in their game. They know all the unit tags, unit stats, multipliers, map spawns, technologies, you name it. A lot of the librarian players suffer from slow APM and thrive more in lengthy game modes. They are good eco players and experts in the late game due to their knowledge and capability of making many correct decisions. These types of players like safe civilizations but are one of the more versatile group of players in real time strategy. Number 4. The Future Pro High in humility and constantly wanting to learn, these types of players aren't afraid to ask for information. They're fast learners and usually have only recently just started playing the game more seriously. They're improving rapidly and always around to play matches. They tend to play a lot of different game modes and civilizations. You maybe beat them once but will instantly notice their power and potential which will only get better. These players are the kings in terms of being lower ranked and putting up a fight against higher ranked players. They're quite aggressive players and typically in the process of learning multiple civilizations but commonly stick to civilizations that are slightly on the aggressive side. Number 3. The Stalemates The Stalemates have a lot of experience in the game due to them being long term players. However, they reach a certain level in the game and then stop actively expanding or improving their skill set. In terms of strategy, the stalemates mostly always just play with no real game plan. These types of players are hard stuck when it comes to growing in skill or increasing their rank. Quite a few stalemate players are resistant to change and can only leave their in-game comfort zone for a short time only. Some stalemate players are quite stubborn and will often blame the game. Because they are some of the longest playing players, they usually have a good skill set foundation but often have trouble breaking out of their shell. Number 2. The Evil In the darkest corners of the RTS world, there's some things that are better left unseen. These evil beings are uncommon and in few numbers, but when found, they will quickly make your experience a misery. They're the cause of much fear, anger and frustration and will leave players wanting to quit the game. The evil players have an extremely unique, defensive, turtle type of playstyle that is similar to a spreading virus. They are without a doubt the most efficient and defensive base builders of all time. They'll stay hidden in the early stages of a game and slowly expand their base as the match progresses. From either infinite layers of walls to mass defensive structures, hiding villages or building on islands, these players have no issue playing a 90 minute game. They feed off your frustration and love when their strategy seems unbeatable. They often do damage with buildings and sacrifice villages like nothing. They love bonuses that increase building HP or building attack. Furthermore, they're a special breed of player. In the past, they were referred to as simple turtle players that would literally only attack you when they had everything maxed out. Nevertheless, they'll mostly play defensive civilizations only and have no shame when abusing broken features or creating overpowered strategies. They also have this special trait with which they like to make you think that you're winning, only to be three steps ahead. Number 1. The All Father. Like ascendants from above, the All Father are the best of the best. These players are the 1% and are born to win. They are literal winners and have unbelievable mental stamina and strength. They are well rounded players and every move and decision they make is backed by a stream of thoughts. They will question every single move and will do anything they can to win a game. But they are also ultimate comeback artists because they never give up. These players typically play quite safe and tend not to do anything that would jeopardize their chance of victory, much unlike the talented RTS players. They are incredibly respected in the game. No matter what they do or what they say, the majority will always admire and follow them due to their unbelievable skill. These types of players will only lose poorly if they have no incentive to win. They are absolutely incredible players and currently belong to one of the few groups of players to have a chance at beating the evil players. That was 10 types of RTS players. What type of RTS player are you? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.